Well, you may have noticed this little new function here in the middle of your screen appearing, and it's Microsoft's way of trying to insert Edge into your desktop experience. Now, before you remove it, there is one specific instance where it's very handy, and that's if you use profiles. You'll see here I've zoomed in on my taskbar at the bottom, and you'll see a whole bunch of uh, Edge icons. And this, you can do this in Chrome well, but I have different um, personalities, let's say profiles, for different types of uh, users that I have. Myself as Old Guy Geek, or as my other channel, or as my business account. I put them down there so I could switch between accounts very easily. But you'll notice here, if I click on the three dots in the edge bar, they're all listed right here on the right. So if I want to search for a different profile, I just click there, select a profile, and then I click on it. And once I do that, and I do a search, you'll notice here that I'm in my Atari Geek profile. Up in here in the top right corner, you'll see the icon. So I even have my favorites listed uh, there as well. And I can switch to a different search by simply selecting a different uh, account, in this case, uh, the Old Guy Geek account. And I search now, and once I search, it'll bring up that particular browser with that profile loaded, uh, the Old Guy Geek instead of the Atari Geek. So what that means is that I can get rid of all those icons at the bottom of the screen and make room for other taskbar programs I might not want to list there instead of those profiles. Uh, so I'm going to leave it like this for a while and do a test and see if I like it, and then I'm going to remove those. Now it's important to note that I'm not going to remove all these profiles from Edge. It's just I'm going to remove the taskbar icons at the bottom. Well, now that we know what value it has to you, whether or not it does, uh, it's up to you. But now we're going to talk about configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and relaunch it here. And the first thing we want to talk about is where it's located at. Some people will find it handy, but if you click and drag on it, you can put it anywhere on your screen. At the bottom down here next to the, where your taskbar is, and maybe after you remove all those profiles, it's so very easy to do that. You can even come over here and turn off search over here on the left, and then everything, even more room comes up on your taskbar. You can just leave desktop search wherever you like it. In fact, you can even drag it to a second monitor. I have two monitors. You can't see it all here, but you'll see it's half in and half out. You can put it on your second monitor if you like. But if you're not convinced of usefulness and you just want to get rid of it, you simply click on the three buttons down here, and you can just go here. Now, you're going to have to turn off uh, the auto start. It'll be checked for you already. You need to click on it to turn it off. And that way it won't start with Windows. And of course, then for right now, you have to go to the close at the bottom in order to click it and close it. So now every time you start your system, you just have the clean desktop, uh, no edge bar visible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to the Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.